Hello everyone, my name is Jacqueline Francis and I work for Safe East as a Health and Wellbeing Programme Coordinator. Um, we're commissioned by the London Borough of Tower Hamlets and we've been around, we're relatively new, um, we've been around since October last year when we won the contract and um, we've been up and running since January of this year. Um, previously there were several different providers who provided the service that we provide before. For instance, you had um, Step Forward that provided the sexual health element, Lifeline provided the um, substance misuse, we had the youth service who provided um, peer ed in the community and peer ed in schools. So all of these sort of like individual programs have sort of like been amalgamated into one contract. So we now offer integrated services for young people aged 10 to 19 um, in the borough, across the entire borough of Tower Hamlet. So as you all know, adolescence is a time of great experimentation and with that comes a lot of risky behavior and that's associated with poor educational achievement, mental health, early morbidity, premature mortality, and um, there's a greater likelihood of disease and lifetime problems associated with those behaviors. Um, for instance, we have un, um, the uptake of unsafe sexual behavior, uptake of smoking, and also drug and alcohol misuse. And we know that young people who are engaging in one type of risky behavior are more likely to engage into, in, into other types of um, behavior or more than one behavior. And substance misuse and risky sexual health behavior, um, criminal activity, um, domestic violence, sexual exploitation, these are all sort of like some of the, um, the issues that um, we deal with. And also our work um, covers prevention and early intervention because if we intervene early, uh, we can avoid a lot of the problems that young people go on to face or at least lessen um, some of the issues that they face. So the core elements of our service, we offer two main strands, which is sexual health and um, substance misuse, but we also cover smoking cessation and we look at hidden harm support because young people might not be um, sort of like actually using substances, but they may be victims, for instance, their carers or their parents might have substance misuse problems. And so then they would get affected with that by that. So we also deal with young people in those situations. And we also provide an element of education and early intervention. We go into schools and we provide um, PSHE sessions around substance misuse, um, sexual health, and stop smoking. And we also provide um, those sessions, not just in schools, but also in community settings and non-traditional school settings like people referral units. Um, so we do try and cover like the entire borough and we also try to reach um, hard to reach young people by doing um, assertive outreach. In terms of eligibility, we work with 10 to 19 year olds, uh, but different elements of our service um, covers um, different age groups. For instance, um, our core age group is 10 to 19, but we offer um, our service up to 20 up to those who are 25 years old, um, and that would include people who are um, looked after, sorry, young people who are looked after or care livers or who have a disability. In the case of substance misuse, we offer treatment up until their 19th birthday, so up until 18 years old. We also offer clinic in a box just to inc increase accessibility of our sexual health services across the borough and um, that's available to 13 to 19 year olds. Um, the National Chlamydia Screening Program goes, and the C-Card scheme, which is a scheme where young people can access condoms free of charge by registering um, with a, a credit, with, with um, a card. Um, we offer that up until young people are 25 years old. And um, in terms of consent, we work with young, 
young people, but they would need to provide consent if they're um, under the age of 16. So anybody who comes to us who's under the age of 13, that would be raised as a, as a safeguarding issue and they would be referred on. We have various um, modes of delivery, so we do case management where our health and well-being practitioners work with young people on a one-to-one -one basis. We have open access, we have a range of clinics across the borough. Um, we are about to, um, we have secured a, a sexual health hub. Um, our previous colleague who spoke about gangs, it was funny because we had a hub in Devons Road and we got one of the young people, um, we were doing a consultation to find out if that was you know, an area that young people would like to access. And he wouldn't attend because he said that he'd been held up um, by knife point and both gunpoint in the Devons Road area. So we had to abandon that idea and f look and try and get um, some premises that were sort of like more central that um, young people would probably um, feel more comfortable accessing. We deliver workshops and, and sessions on sex and relationships and we cover a broad range of, of, um, of topics. We contact the schools and we try to find out what, their, what topics they're interested in us delivering and then we tailor a package. We don't have like a set session that we use. Um, we consult with the schools and, because, and, and deliver the sessions around the requirements of the schools because different schools have young people with different problems that sort of like get flagged up. So one school might want a session on drugs and alcohol, one might want contraception and, se and sexually transmitted infections, another one might want something around pornography. So we, we try to cater for all of their needs. We also will be rolling out a peer education program in schools. Um, where we get young people to train up as peer educators to mentor their peers around um, sexual health and substance misuse issues and other health issues. We do targeted support with at-risk groups, so we work quite closely with the yacht team, looked after children, teenage parents, young carers, the PRU. And as I mentioned, we do assertive outreach. We also have a confidential text message service that's sort of like part of a national program where young people can message, um, send messages via SMS um, around their health if they have any concerns. We offer training for professionals around um, the areas that I've mentioned. So um, we can be contacted if there is a group of, of um, professionals that need training around any of these areas. We do um, offer training as well. Um, young people can either self-refer by phone or drop in or they c can be referred by professionals. In terms of sexual health, um, we offer an assessment and followed by screening, then we'd offer treatment and um, in relation to the treatment, according to what is needed by the young person, we'd either offer um, emergency contraception, um, long-acting reversible contraception, or it could be that they just um, require condoms, or sometimes they just, they're just after advice. So they might not be sexually active, but they might be thinking about it, or they might have some um, concerns or just want some information. So we do... Um, speak to young people just about advice um, and we also speak to them about delaying um, first sex so um, there are some young people that may be sort of like they're undecided but if they do have the facts and when they do get the information they might decide well you know they could sort of like wait a bit longer so we do um, do delay training as well for young people. Um, with substance misuse, most of the young people that we see um, are on a caseload and the substances that they present with um, are usually cannabis and maybe nitrous oxide. These are sort of like the two um, types of substances that our young people tend to um, present with and we offer 
um, sort of like harm, harm reduction um, support services and also um, education and um, in the ter in with um, cigarettes, if if they are smoking and they'd like to um, stop smoking, we offer nicotine replacement therapy, or we do refer them to our pharmacies. Um, so, um, if if they want like more extensive support, um, we work in a range of settings. So, um, we work in we. We do work in um, several um, clinics, GP practices, um, health centers across the borough. Um, we try to make our service as accessible as possible. So if the young person does not want to come into uh, um, an office or an establishment, we do try to meet up with them in a setting that they feel comfortable with, say for instance, a cafe, or, um, but somewhere that's sort of like um, in the open. We don't do home visits, but we do encourage young people to sort of like meet us in sort of like um, accessible locations or um, in the borough, like probably a library or somewhere that's more suitable. Um, in relation to um, what we have, um, we are about to roll out. As mentioned, our hub, we're expected to move into our hub in January, and our hub will be located in the Whitechapel area. And with our clinic in the box services, um, we're just waiting for sort of like confirmation that we can deliver these services from our partners, which is um, King's College Hospital. And this slide shows where we are, um, where we've got a clinic. So we've got um, XX Place Health Centre, and that's a drop-in referral. That's a sexual health clinic. We also have provision at East, youth, East Side Youth Centre, Haleybury Youth Centre, Barkentine Medical Centre, Newby Place. We've actually got two clinics at the Barkentine. So we've got a Saturday clinic which runs from 9 to 2 p.m. We've also got satellite clinics at um, Queen Mary University and at New City College, which is former tower, known as Tower Hamlets College. And we have signed up to the You're Welcome program, and we are about to reconvene the You're Welcome program in the borough. And You're Welcome is a set of criteria that um, establishments that deliver um, youth um, health services to young people sign up to to ensure that they're um, young people friendly so when young people see this logo they know that they can go to this establishment and they will be received and treated with respect because um, a lot of young people are deterred from going to some pharmacies or GP practices because they don't feel like probably the staff make them feel like they shouldn't access services because they're too young or because of their eth um, ethnicity, etc. So um, young people can actually feel comfortable accessing services with this logo. When they see this logo, um, they know that they've sort of like um, followed the criteria and they don't need, when they go there, they don't feel judged and they can be treated, um, their information is treated with confidence. Um, this is a slide of our contact details. Our service manager is Lisa Sturrock. She was meant to give this talk today, but unfortunately she was double booked. Uh, but if you do need any further information, feel free to contact us. Thank you.